I was thinking about the scripture where Jesus said, be of good cheer for I have overcome the world. I thought about that in relationship to chaos and order. Those two words, chaos and order. You know, the world was full of chaos and God brought order to it in creation and things were good. I think that what Christ is talking about is that in life, chaos is, is part of the world. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome chaos. I can bring order into your life. I can bring order into your existence. With the whole COVID thing that we've gone through for these last several years, what's really happened? Well, I think what's happened is, is that chaos has entered the world through COVID. The problem is, is that it's not just hit one area of our lives, it hit every area. You couldn't go shopping, you couldn't go to school, you couldn't go anywhere without being affected by COVID. It was chaos. There was no safe place to be except in your home, in the quiet cave that you live in. And even then, sometimes it didn't feel safe. There was no order going on anywhere. And people were searching for order. They were searching for things to grasp a hold of, and they have. I don't know if all of those things they've grasped is good, because there's only one that is good, and his name is Jesus. And I think what Jesus is saying, even in that, is chaos is in your COVID. I am the one who brings order. Come to me, all you who are have worry and, and are heavenly laden, for I'll give you rest. I'll give you rest from that chaos. I'll give you rest from that struggle. But we don't go there. We don't think that that's where he's at, that he is the one that's going to take us out of that. You know, you read the, the, the book of Revelation and you'll see that the world is going to be a terrible, difficult place in the end. It's going to be chaos like you've never seen before. And yet Jesus is the one who will take us out of that. I wonder if you're going through chaos right now in your life, if there's things going on that's affecting you and affecting your existence. Perhaps you need to look not for other things that can bring you into order, but look to the one who is the God of order, and his name is Jesus. Think about that today, would you? Hey, until next time, God bless.